Hey, how's it going? So today I'm starting a cooking vlog of sorts. Uh, today I wanted to make some curry because I'm going over to my friend Nathan's house and I uh, wanted to cook his family a little something. Uh, so this is a curry that I'm making. Um, just kind of came up with it in, in all different ways. So what I've got here is um, some vegetables, some flour, and some toasted curry powder. And then over here, we got some melted butter ready to make our roux, which is going to be our thickening agent in all of this. So right now, um, I got the butter melted and uh, pretty much got everything ready to go. I prepped everything ahead of time. Over here, the vegetables I got in today's curry is pretty much the Cajun trinity of bell peppers, onions, and celery. I um, wanted to go with that because I personally like that three vegetable combination um, so without any further ado we'll get going so to make your roux you melt your butter down but you gotta make sure you don't burn it because if you do um, it's gonna get pretty bitter and it's gonna change the color of your um, whatever you're making so right here add our flour to our butter and basically mix it and keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn in any way um, there you go. And what this will do is um, basically thicken up whatever you have. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah. Gonna let all that flour absorb into the flour. And um, yeah, basically let this cook out. And so the amount of butter I use, I basically just use four ounces of butter to four ounces of flour. Generally, when you make a roux, for sauces or whatever, I, I generally stick to doing equal parts, one and one, in weight. So, yeah. As you can see, it kind of comes up kind of like a dough over here. And so I'm going to let this thing cook for about five minutes or so until it begins to get that uh, nutty aroma to it. And I just in that meantime, I'm just going to have to stir it around and make sure it doesn't burn finished cooking over here um, you can see it's a little bit different color than what it was before it's a little bit on the darker side and it got rid of that uh, starchy smell to it that gives it that dough smell uh, cooked that all out and now it kind of has this fragrant nutty smell to it um, I took it all out and so now I'm gonna cook my vegetables into this pan and so uh, the oil that I got in this pan is just coconut oil I'm just experimenting with it today um, I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, hopefully it'll be good. So without any further ado, here we go. So generally when I make my curries, um, as best as possible, I try to refrain from using meat. Um, although a lot of people like to have meat in their curry. I don't know, I feel like uh, curry is one of those things that if you're gonna put meat on it, it should kind of be on the side. Like I, I like um, deep frying some chicken and then putting the curry on top rather than cook cooking the meat inside the curry. I don't know, I feel like uh, it gives it a better texture contrast to it. But anyway, so I'm going to cook this all up until it starts to get a little soft on the outside, but still retains that crunch on the inside, because we're just going to cook it for a fairly long time after we're done putting in everything else. So this is probably going to be the thing that goes in the longest. To get going, I mean, it's cooked fairly well for how I want it to be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw this guy back in, your roux. There's no sense cooking this thing if you're not going to use it, right? Come on, get in there. Okay. And mix this guy around so that it gets all evenly in there. All, right, all around like that. So right now it kind of looks like a mess, but just trust me, it will get better. 
Okay, so right now I'm gonna add the body to this whole thing, which is chicken stock. Now, I was feeling a little lazy today and I didn't wanna do it from scratch. So I just went to the store, bought some stock, and uh, yeah, that's where we are with it now. Let's basically empty this guy in here. Give it all that good chicken flavor. Add that in for now. I don't add all my stock in all at once. I kind of just add a little bit at a time just so that the uh, roux that I just cooked gets well incorporated. I'm just going to let that kind of uh, break apart and get in there pretty good. So it's slowly coming together to start looking like curry. Um, not really what you would traditionally look at look like when you're making curry but this is the way I make curry and if you don't like it then it sucks for you yeah so that's pretty well incorporated in there I think I mean I don't really see any residual flower bits in there okie dokie and then I'll just keep adding more Now you don't have to use chicken stock for this, you can use different kinds of stock, you can use beef, you can use vegetable. Um, I prefer to use chicken, mainly because uh, it gives it a little bit more flavor. And I, I, I tend to not to add meat in my, my curry so that they could stand out on their own, but if you were to add something to it, like chicken, you could. Chicken's pretty neutral. doesn't really overpower anything and it's just kind of there and it kind of takes in whatever shape or form that you usually put it in for the most part okay. oh, they go in there. so now that's all well incorporated for the most part you could add as much um, stock and body to this is you want um, that's totally up to you but I just pretty much put in half a gallon in, in here and if I want to put more water in there I'll put more water in there I think that's enough stock for now because at this point while it's still in its liquid form before it gets all thickened up is I'm gonna add in the curry powder now I toasted this because um, at one point in time I worked for a Indian lady, or she wasn't really Indian, well she, she was from the island of Sri Lanka, so she had that really thick um, Indian accent, and what she taught me about spices is that if you toast them right before you cook them, the flavor completely changes, and when that happened, man, my mind just got blown when that happened, but either way, uh, so, I did that with the curry powder, you can just buy a little bit of that at the store and toast it up, I don't even know if it'll really change the flavor drastically with this stuff because I don't know what process they went through to make this curry powder but she taught me to make curry powder from scratch and frankly I was a little uh, lost on how to make that curry powder again because it was it's been at least eight years since I had to do this or not not curry but making curry powder but either way, so as you can tell, it's starting to get that nice curry look to it. And right now, at this point, I would kind of taste it to see how it, uh, if it needs any more stock or if it needs any more powder. And I'm just going to let this boil until it all starts to thicken up because we have our roux in there. And while it's boiling, I'm also going to add a little bit of this. This is uh, some bay leaf. Ancient Hawaiian secret. No, not really. But add a little bit of that. Boom. Give a little bit of something extra in there. And then we just gotta wait for this guy to kind of thicken up. And once it does, and we'll be ready to go. I've been stirring the bottom of the pan so it won't burn as this is cooking. And it's gotten pretty thick. It's gotten to the consistency that I like. Uh, pretty much kind of like a sauce where I can scoop this thing and you can kind of see it coat the back lightly. Um, I might cook it down a little bit more to make it a little thicker. 
But as for the m most part, I mean, it's pretty much done at this point. And so, I had a good taste of it, and you know, it's, it's pretty good. Um, certainly not what I expected out of it, but you know, I'm actually pretty happy about how this turned out. Hopefully, uh, my buddy will, my buddy and his family will be happy about it. But we'll see. Thank y'all for being such super troopers and watching this video. Catch you next time.